Critics expressed concerns that with the ability to accelerate particles close to the speed of light, the largest and most modern atomic smashing machine in human history could inadvertently cause the destruction of Earth. On September 10, 2008, the first protons were successfully launched around the entire 27-kilometer-long tunnel of the Large Hadron Collider (LHC). Approximately two weeks earlier, the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg, France, reviewed doomsday scenarios presented by a group of professors and students, primarily from Germany and Austria, urging an immediate halt to all activities at the LHC. A similar lawsuit occurred in the United States when a retired nuclear safety employee named Walter Wallner and a Spanish scientist and writer, Luis Sancho, filed a petition requesting the federal government to cancel the upcoming launch event of the Large Hadron Collider. In both cases, the plaintiffs argued that the operation of the Large Hadron Collider could generate doomsday scenarios with the most notable being the possibility of accidentally creating super-small black holes capable of devouring the Earth from within. Scientists have not been able to provide a satisfactory explanation for this frightening idea, black holes forming in space. When stars much heavier than our sun collapse in the final moments of their lives, this type of black hole concentrates an incredibly large amount of matter uh, potentially exceeding three to ten times the entire mass found inside the Sun into an extremely small space. With a diameter ranging from 9 to 30 x, the densely packed matter inside the black hole creates gravitational forces so intense that even light cannot escape from within. This is undoubtedly not the type of black hole that people fear LHC might create. What people fear is a type of incredibly small black hole also known as a quantum black hole, essentially the knot of atomic energy created after the collision of proton beams accelerated by the LHC. There is a fear that, during LHC's operation, a quantum black hole could be produced inadvertently. It might swallow the accelerator that created it, and worse yet, the entire globe, along with over 8 billion people living on it. Dismissing these concerns, the United States Department of Energy and the European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN, the entity directly operating the Large Hadron Collider, emphasized that such fears had been ruled out in a series of safety reports. A report drafted by leading researchers in high-energy physics stressed that cosmic ray collisions in nature are much more powerful and more common than the anticipated collisions inside the Large Hadron Collider. If the LHC has the potential to create doomsday scenarios, then similar catastrophic events caused by cosmic ray collisions must have been observed countless times in nature. Even in the most unlikely cases, reality has proven otherwise. Despite being the most powerful atomic smasher ever built, the collisions that occurred inside the LHC have yet to match what is observed in nature, even within Earth's atmosphere. Going back to October 1991, the Flystill Cosmic Ray Observatory in Utah, USA, discovered an extremely high-energy cosmic ray, essentially a proton, moving at 0 do nun dun wan dun nun ch nun in fav al nun nut times the speed of light. Wow! It carried an estimated energy of about 3 tschuste, 20 electron volts, equivalent to the kinetic energy of a baseball traveling at 90 kilometers h more than 21 million times higher than the maximum energy the Large Hadron Collider could generate in a collision, approximately 14 tera electron volts. Although cosmic rays are generally not as powerful as Oh My God particles, their energy always falls within the range of about 1 giga electron volt, which is the energy level achievable by a relatively small particle accelerator, up to 10 na 8 tera electron volts, meaning it is higher by over 15 million times compared to the most powerful particles that can be accelerated by the LHC every second per square meter of Earth's atmosphere. About 100,000 cosmic rays attack, eight of them reach the planet's surface. These universe-originating, electrically charged particles assault almost everything, 
creating secondary particle showers in the atmosphere and occasionally attacking living beings, pets, and sometimes semiconductor devices in computers, tablets, smartphones, or other electronic devices. In essence, these cosmic collisions occur similarly to the planned collisions inside the Large Hadron Collider, meaning that if the particle beams accelerated by the LHC are indeed powerful enough to create microscopic black holes capable of devouring a planet, scientists should regularly observe the disappearance of planets and asteroids in the solar system. Earth may have been devoured at some point in the past, even before humans appeared and developed technological civilization with the ability to create particle accelerators and concerns about what they might cause. Additionally, theorists emphasize that the LHC can only produce quantum black holes in an extraspatial dimension beyond the four-dimensional space-time we experience, and such entities have not yet been found. Moreover, modern theories propose that these microscopic black holes are so small that they would evaporate almost immediately after formation, with no chance of swallowing Earth in any way. Concerns about one's own existence and the survival of the species are reasonable. Currently, there is no reason for you to fear a doomsday scenario caused by the Large Hadron Collider, at least until you feel yourself being drawn towards a black hole from within the Earth. However, that is the content of another video. Thank you for your interest in following. Please leave your comments below. What do you think about the possibility of forming microscopic black holes in the LHC?